this is a new channel um, like comment and subscribe for more videos but to begin with this is my setup Barnet Vortex Hunter um, I have made modifications from the stock placement bow because the sight and the arrow rest sorry and the did not come with a don't forgot the name of it but you know what I'm talking about hopefully um, shooting a Allen release um, true glow true glow sight pins three sight pins 10, 20, and 30. Um, trophy Ridge Air Rest Whisker Biscuit. Um, it's uh, set on uh, about 65 pounds from what the Bass Pro Shops uh, bow shops had sighted it in for. Um, it is fully sighted in, um, but for a fairly cheap bow, very good setup, and continue to use it for bow season. Um, got a D loop on it and uh, got a peep sight. And today I'm going to be shooting for you uh, at previous yards 10, 20, and 30 yards. Um, it is a fairly fast bow for the money. Um, you know, you don't always have to have a 75 pound uh, bow weight or a 70 pound, anything high, you can go low. Um, checking what time it is. Anyway, uh, you can just prefer to go low, as in 50 pounds or 60 pounds. Before I moved up to 60 pounds, is this max bow weight is 62 to 65 pounds is maxed out on this bow. Um, but and even then, it's for me, it's pretty good. Uh, you don't have to go to 70 pounds with this bow doesn't take 70 pounds um, you know before I was maxed the bow out I was at 53 pounds I think it was at and uh, moved up to 65 and the bow guy said bow shop guy said that it was had no problem pulling it back and therefore I was shooting a group about that big around and uh, I just really love the setup and uh, no reason to switch if you got it set up right and sided in right and everything like that. Should have no problems with it. But uh, let me get back right back with you guys. I'm gonna get to shooting. And just so you guys know my setup, I'm shooting the Blackout XS Envy 400s practice tips. They're both the same. XS Envy 400s. First guys, I'm going to be shooting at 10 yards with this bow. Uh, the first pin that I have is my 10 yard pin. So sit tight. Zoom that in for you guys. Hopefully I'm not in your way while I'm shooting. Just prefer 10 yards. Now, 
bad could have been better. There you have it, ten yards. Now guys, I'm going to move back to the 20 yards and sit tight. Wait for this wind stops forward. to 20 yards. So you guys can see there. That is a very devastating group. Um, I think I Peter Panned it. Zoom out for y'all. All the way out. Alright, so we've shot at 10 yards, we've shot at 20 yards. Now I'm going to move back to 30 yards and move the camera back with me as well. Stay tuned. Or, you know what guys? To be honest with you guys, I think I'm just going to zoom in for you. Because, I'm going to move you back just a little bit. That way you guys can see the complete, sorry guys, I'm moving the tripod, that way you guys can see it. There you go, that is, we are going to shoot at 30 yards. 30 yards. You know, even though, and even though that last shot was low, y'all, at 30 yards with this bow, y'all, it really just determines on how much you shake and how much you don't, so, this is good as I've gotten on camera so far, so, y'all, uh, 
as you guys can see, that's that's a heck of a low shot. That was the last shot there. That was low. So I'm gonna zoom you back out. I'm gonna go retrieve these arrows. Next time, I can give you tips and techniques on shooting the bow and how my setup is effective for me. Sorry, the wind is blowing, guys. What setup is best for me and how I can help you with a setup for you that will work as well. And if you want to see that, comment below, like, subscribe, see you next time on All Hard Outdoors.